Hello viewers, I welcome you all from HLTF Tech channel and today we will see that how we can create a new SharePoint web application in SharePoint Server Subscription Edition 2022. We have uh, installed this SharePoint Server Subscription Edition in uh, our uh, on-premise environment in our previous videos. I will share the link as well. If you are my, uh, if you are a new visitor, I, can, I advise you to go to my uh, that link and follow the instructions to see how we can install SharePoint Server Subscription Edition. And if you are a subscriber, I I hope so that you already have watched that video. So let's proceed with this video. In this uh, video, we will see that how we can create a new web application and how we can create site collections in our SharePoint Server Subscription Edition 2022. So uh, for that purpose, first of all, you have to create a new web application. For creating new web application, here you are seeing that new is disabled. So what I have to do, I will quickly copy it. Okay, there may be some issues with the Microsoft Edge. We have opened this with in an Internet Explorer with uh, elevated right that is run as administrator. And now we can create a new web application here. So I will click new. Uh, this will be a new website. I will use port 80. So host header will be HLTF tech. Okay and uh, i will allow anonymous or not it depends upon your requirement whether you allow it or not okay here it's asking about the secure socket layer i'm not going to install secure socket layer here if you notice that is an additional point that has been introduced in sharepoint server subscription edition and uh, you know if uh, you have worked on sharepoint 2019 or previous versions of uh, sharepoint these options were not available you had to configure it in irs manually so now it gives you option here and if you select use secure socket layer you have to attach the server certificate here so for attaching cert per certificate there is another control i am uh, leaving it to no okay the uh, authentication that i will use is ntlm it depends upon your requirement whether you are using ntlm or kerberos i will use the default sign in page if you have developed any uh, page on any net or any other application you can give the uh, path of that page in the custom sign in page that will be the url and i am going to create a new application pool it's not recommended that you uh, use the existing pool always uh, have a new pool for creating any type of web application or service application so that uh, they may be managed independently by different type of manage accounts so for uh, managing this uh, website i am going to manage a new form, new account that will be sp19 in form as well you can specify it and i will click ok ok uh, there is an error i think it's it the name must be with the domain okay fine uh, the new uh, manage account has been registered here and that will be used for uh, managing that application pool okay the database server is crmdb and the database name that it will create will be wss underscore content underscore let's say i name it as hldf for my understanding so the database authentication will be windows authentication failover database server if you have any database server that is uh, specified as a failover database server uh, you can 
assign it here I am leaving it default okay I'm going to click OK and cre while creating a new web application it will take some time after that a new web application will be created okay viewers here you can see that a new web application has been created and it's telling us uh, that once you are finished you have to create a new site collection so I will click OK here uh, it is uh, one thing is important to understand that uh, right now we have created one web application that is with this URL we can uh, change it to HTTPS later on as and when required uh, so uh, first of all uh, the important thing to understand is that web application is not actually the it uh, has physical existence okay it means that if I go to uh, this and I copy it and I paste it here it will uh, tell me that there is nothing here it's important to understand I have already uh, given uh, much emphasis on this uh, point in my previous videos as well and in the introductory videos that whenever you create any uh, web application uh, let me give the password first to show you actually actually that the site will not be navigated so uh, I was telling that whenever you create a web application the web application is actually an empty container it's an empty container or a basket which doesn't contain anything so it means that if you create a web application and you try to access it through the URL you will uh, be returned an empty response or a response of page not found okay so uh, that's not need to worry that is only because the web application is an empty container right now for creating any content in it or for making it a site you have to create site collection first at least one site collection is mandatory to make this web application working for that we go again into central administration we go into manage uh, applications and here we create a site collection okay if you have multiple site web applications here you can change the web application but right now I have only one web application so first page that I'm going to create for my website or web application of SharePoint Server Subscription Edition will be the home page. So I'm going to leave it that, and uh, the template I will use for this will be communication site template, okay, or uh, any of the uh, following options. Templates are nothing but a default th theme provided by uh, SharePoint that is editable so I'm going to click on communication site because it helps me to publish dynamics and beautiful content to people uh, as it is quite uh, a fact that home page must be attractive and user friendly uh, to grab your users quickly so for any organization uh, it is a most common demand so the primary administrator for that will be sp19 form and in case this user is blocked or disabled due to any purpose we will define a secondary site template i'm not define any quota we will cover uh, i have already covered a quota template limit uh, video and i will also uh, make one more video for this SharePoint server subscription edition exclusive so I will click OK and by clicking OK the first site collection 
in the web application that we created uh, earlier will be created okay so stay with me for another couple of minutes okay viewers here you can see that a new top level site has been created and this top level site will enable the web application to run because now it's no more an empty container we have added one site collection that is uh, the home page and now we will go and we will refresh that page okay viewers this is the first time look of the sharepoint server subscription edition community template and here you can see that this is the template of sharepoint server subscription edition right now we doesn't have any apps here this is our home page and it's so easy to change that uh, we can click on site information and we can say that it is hltf underscore tech organization okay we can also upload the site logo here but we are not going to change the site logo as I doesn't have the one right now I will click save and uh, the display name of my organization has changed and this is the different type of navigation links this is a hero bar and if you uh, look at this template and if you have worked on the modern sites in SharePoint 2019 as well then you must be fam quite familiar with this type of with this page this modern page is very easy to be editable we can just click edit and we can change it as per our requirement we can add multiple options here and then we can again publish it so we will go to change that theme in our next video one more thing that is important to understand here uh, if you remember when we create the web application that was uh, a new web application of SharePoint 80 a new content database had been created we can verify it by going into manage content databases and here you can see that if I change the web application to SharePoint 80 the new content database is WSS underscore content underscore HLDF if you remember while creating the web application we uh, named that database and if we again validate it in our database server here I will go and into the database and I will refresh it here you can see that that is the database that has been created while we created the web application so it means that whenever you create a new web application it asks you to create a new content database you specify the one you name it uh, this is the name and uh, WSS underscore content is the default one and you can change you can add any name for your understanding purpose by uh, giving underscore by any name followed by any name this is the general naming convention you can even change the whole but it is always recommended that you don't change that uh, to make the naming convention as a standard practice so this is the database when you create the web application it was created by default so it means that this database is here and it started it's not read only and current number of site collections are one site level warning is at 2000 and maximum number of sites it can entertain are 5000 but there are different conditions on it i will tell you briefly in my upcoming videos what are the conditions and how you can become a good sharepoint administrator so this was uh, the first look of the site of sharepoint server subscription edition community community portal okay in our next videos we are going to change the customization we are going to customize this uh, site and we are going to add multiple departments site collections we are going to add sub site then we will add content in it 
we will we will talk about the site permissions we will talk about the user permissions we will talk about uh, security permissions as well and many more things are there that are awaited uh, and i will try to cover them all of them in a very easy manner for better understanding and uh, I, we will also cover a video upon the differences between sharepoint server subscription edition and sharepoint 2019 all you have to do if you are a new visitor guys subscribe my channel and enjoy watching more videos i thank you all